Hi everyone. So now we will talk how we can use and learn PHP without installing in our local system. And related to this topic, you might have some questions. Don't worry, I'll give you the answer of all of these questions one by one. All right. So first question you can ask, like how we can use PHP without installing in our local system. The answer is we can use online editor tools. Second questions, how they are beneficial and why should we use online editor tools if we can install PHP in our local system? See, there are two, three reasons. First reason is, so if you are new in PHP or new in programming and you are facing some issue to install uh, XAMPP, starting the Apache server and installing the uh, code editor and all, then better to be use online editor tools for basic and mid-level PHP, right, rather than just stuck on the, uh, just installing in PHP in your uh, local system, all right. Second reason, so if someone has a bit slower system, and if you will install XAMPP and uh, uh, code editor in your system, then it will make more slower to your system. So better to be just uh, go with the online editor tools and uh, you can just learn basic and mid-level PHP. Mid-level means uh, you can use almost everything without uh, connect database connectivity with the online tools, right? This is the only drawback that uh, you might be face some issues with the uh, PHP and database connectivity. Otherwise, you can just do anything with the online editors. All right. Third thing. So let's say anyone don't have a computer and they still want to learn PHP. Then I know that this is very, very difficult to just learn programming with the mobile, just doing coding with the mobile. But if you really want to do that, then you can use these uh, online editor uh, tools. Some There are some applications also. They can just help you out to uh, uh, type and uh, uh, execute the uh, PHP programs and all. All right. All right. So now, uh, which online editor we should use? See, there are lots of online editor, but I will recommend one. And see, this is not any uh, paid promotion. I just uh, telling you because I just found it better. All right. So you can just simply go with the online PHP editor. Oops, my internet was not working. Okay, that's working nice. So here you can see there are lots of uh, online editor, but I will prefer W3 schools. Why? I'll just tell you, but let's use it first and compare with the other also, right? So I'm just clicking over there and uh, there you will find even I will just provide this link in the description box also if you just want to directly jump on this link and you can directly click on the try it yourself. After that, you can just write any PHP code there. You can just, if you want, then you can remove this uh, uh, previous code also and just start with your own code. So we will just try out some variables, some echo uh, and uh, some HTML and PHP integration also, all right? So firstly, I'm just putting their echo, I'm putting my name, let's say Anil Sidhu. Then if I'm just running it, it should properly run. And here we go. After that, let's say, let's take a variable. I'm putting their name is Anil Sidhu and printing my name there with echo. And here we go. Again, this is working fine. So now let's say you want to use their H1 tag and inside this, you want to use the PHP tag, right? This is also possible. PHP echo dollar name cool and if we just run it you will find we got the output with the h1 tag right similarly if you want to add uh, some color with this this will still work fine so I'm just putting their color uh, style and then color we can say that let's say red it should work fine perfect and next thing if you just want to make the dynamic uh, color then this is also possible so let me just add there one more variable dollar color and let's say color is green there right and if just you want to use this variable as a color then simply create a php tag echo and dollar name sorry dollar color and here we go this is still working fine, right? 
and next thing is so let's say in php you just want to use the html inside it then this is also possible just put there h2 tag then close h2 tag there and you can simply put their dollar name let's try to run it and here you can see that this is also working fine all right so with that way we can use uh, the online editor tools and now let's compare it with the other tools so i'm just going with the second one but you will find a problem there i'll just let you know what is the problem so if i'm just running it you can see that uh we got the first name there right this is printing very much fine and uh, if i'm just putting there 10 plus 10 there right it will also just add it properly there is no issue 20 here you can see that right but the thing is wherever we are using the html this is not giving the proper output this is just printing the html as a string so better to be here you can see that this is providing the output but the tag should not be there this is should be uh, that uh, proper output like this color and all right so that's why uh, this tool is not working fine i'm not saying this is not good but this is not working fine with the html kind of things right and if you just use one compiler then you might be face some similar kind of issue see the output 20 and anil siddhu names are working properly fine but html tags are not writing properly right so that's all for this part if you have any query any question you can ask me in the comment section and yeah i told you some drawbacks also to use the online editor tool first one you will find very difficult difficulty when you whenever you will just connect uh this editor with the uh database second thing if you are using the uh local code editor your files will be created and your uh, code will be just saved and if you will just refresh this page your code will be gonna gone otherwise you have to just manually copy and paste this code in your files all right so that's all and i'll request you uh, please subscribe my channel share this video with your friends like this video and you can provide your feedback in comment section this is my paytm donation number for all right thank you guys